Okay, so I wanted to start by um, talking uh, about the homework one last time because a, a few more people uh, got in the homework and I realized there was a point that I just didn't stress with su sufficient clarity. And I've decided the way to do this is to make up an English Shezhen series, okay? So, um, so I'm going to have a phonetic, which is going to be a circle with a dot in it. Uh, and, and it's a spot, yeah? So uh, this character alone can write the word spot, okay? <laughs> Uh, and and these I don't know. Imagine these are the reconstruction because they're the actual pronunciation. So uh, so this is the character that writes the word spot. Yeah. So this is the character, and it represents the morphing spot. Yeah. And then there's a character where we put the this radical this me, this metal you know uh, determiner maybe. So this character, this represents the word pot. Uh, oops, actually, I, I, I intended to do it slightly differently, which is because of, you know pot might be made of metal, but uh, let's instead use the heat. Right? Okay, uh, and then that using metal, which I can use for for this one, pot. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, so that's this one, and, and then at least in my dialect, let's say we have one more, uh, which will be this one, which is also bot. Yeah, exactly the same pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, how would I romanize these in my system? So here, what some people did in their homework was they said, well, the, the sort of mother of the Sheshan character represents the sound spot. So I will then uh, 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 Romanize this one as something like Ed or Eat, yeah, and then uh, spot. That's, you see that? Yeah, that's wrong because, because or how can I say it? That's saying that what people did when they saw this uh, was they applied the sound in the morphing spot uh, and then said, okay, but I know it's not spot. It sounds like spot somehow, but it has something to do with eating. Yeah. And of course, that is historically what happened. Uh, but what I'm instead asking you to do is to kind of abstract away from the specific pronunciation of specific morphemes to say, what is it that the, the character as a phonetic says about pronunciation, right? So it doesn't say it has an initial S because there's no initial S in P in bot and there's no initial S in bot. So, so what I want you to write here is N pop. Uh, and actually, kind of even more precisely, but I wouldn't suggest actually writing this. You use a capital P, yeah, to say P or B, right, or PH, yeah, because the information that is actually contained in this phonetic qua phonetic, rather than qua character to write this morpheme doesn't care about the manner of articulation, right? So uh, so this one would be pot, and then this one would be, you know, met pot, uh, and then this one would be, I don't know, I don't know. So how do you say by in Latin? Yeah. I think I Well, that's a side the point. Uh, so this, this is what my romanization is trying to do is is which is to say every phonetic there kind of represents two different sounds, if you like, the sound of the word that it as a standalone character 
I backed myself into a syntactic <laughs> quandary here, but in case you see what I mean. Uh, uh, this symbol, this, this sign, this character does represent the morpheme spot. So in a sense, it rep represents the sound spot, but as the mother of a Sheshen series, it doesn't, it, it, it is, uh, you know, uh, equanimitous with regard to whether or not there's an S, what the tone is, uh, and what the manner of articulation is. So we want to represent that equanimity <laughs> in our uh, in our romanization, right? Does that? I hope that makes sense. Yeah. So um, and and a lot of people had already understood this, but some people hadn't. So that's why I thought I would I'll just go through it one more time. Okay, and I'll. And there, uh, talking about uh, this homework assignment. <laughs>